I will not be holding punches. Okay, so just be warned. If you die, you die. You know, you die fully. If you die in the game, wait. If you die in real die life, you also die in the game. I mean, oh yeah, obviously, yeah. Last we left off, you guys had just killed, you know, the four Griffins. You've lost a comrade. Zane is no more. You haul his corpse and the Griffin's body parts back to Kier Morin. And you guys take a considerable rest. You know, you think you take a month off to kind of recuperate from your massive injuries and just PTSD. I give two of the other cold resistance potions to the others. I got my two healing, and I got my greater healing. Me? Yeah, yes. uh, you know how to manage your inventory, right? <laughs> you could have told me this. Uh, okay, so you go to your, uh... Hold on, I know, it's... Uh, I, I know, I know. What kind yeah. of potions? One healing, one greater healing? Two, two healing, okay. and then one greater. It's called Errors of Slaying. There's no regular Potion of Healing, or is it? Type in Potion of... Oh, okay. It'll, it'll I must have just up. remembered it wrong. Okay. Uh, so, Talia, it's actually called Errors of Slaying. Mike informed me. Okay. Well, there is no not color one. It should be a green one. What does that one say? There's green, blue, and purple, and that's it. What, what does the green one say? Just potion? Does it it say says greater. Healing? Just right, type so in healing and search, one. and it should I pop up one. under gear. Yeah. Yeah. Under gear? Yes. Yeah. Just, if you... Don't check the... Don't do any filters. Just type oh, in there healing. There it is. There we go. Okay. It's very hard to find any warmth or shelter in that area. However, they will be sending you to the nearest location where they've uh, heard rumors of a dragon being reported seen from their scouts. Since they have not come back, they assume that the scouts have been eaten by the dragon. You guys do have the option of trying to do any kind of research on the dragon. Oh, I was about to ask, okay. like, yeah, do yeah. I, did I do any investigation into how to fight a dragon? I would like to do that. So there is the library, and you guys are able to go in there and look for any information about white dragons, or dragons in general. Alright, do we meet Glaze now? Yeah, sorry. Uh, since uh, Zane died, um, Glaze, you have been introduced uh, into this group. So who is Glaze? What's he look like? Uh, well, it's a she. Basically, uh, tiefling, uh, Basically, icy skin and well, sky, sky blue skin, and you know, dark blue hair. So a blue tiefling girl with a warhammer. All right. Well, we're happy to have some more backup. Blaze, who's this other person? Uh, and oh, joining nice. you are uh, Talia and uh, Sinonis twin sister, Tara. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alright, I'm glad Tally is back. How old are the new characters is kind of what I'm asking. You can answer him. I'm not I don't know your ages. I can't remember if Tara did her age, but she's probably around five. Um, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Six. Well, I mean, if it's the twin sister, it's probably the same age as last one, so like 12 or 13. Seven. She's like 12 or 13, yeah. Probably 13. Your did pass since she died, so... Because apparently that's as old as we're allowed to be for some reason. As <laughs> we're going... Do you not age. know what's going on? <laughs> you have no idea what, where, where we are? You're not adults. Adult. No, adult. no, no. adulting yet. This is supposed to be a <laughs> child, cruel child uh, endangerment game. Uh, 
what information are you looking for in this book specifically? Weaknesses and how to survive fighting it. No, there's no ambush this time with, you know, three uh, dragons. Unless it just had a litter of babies and then they all rush out of the ice to eat us. And if he, how dare you ruin my surprise? <laughs> I gotta freaking redo my thing. <laughs> Quest over. Gotta read comics to my news. He's assuming the worst <laughs> right away. Well, it looks to be a body. And uh, as you walk forward and uh, expect it a little bit more, you can see that it's actually one of the scouts that they sent out uh, earlier to look out for the uh, dragon. I'll just double check to see if there's a pulse. Like, I'm assuming like, you're going for the neck. Yeah. You You reach for it. And the hood kind of, like, caves in, and you realize that this guy's head is completely gone. Is he okay? Oh, yeah, he's died. (laughs) Okay, Okay. I'll eat some of the rations. There's, like, like, two sale breads. You know, he's just a scout, right? He's, He's not going to have anything useful on him. He's just out here to basically become this. He had, he had a cracker. <laughs> She'll literally just do like the face palm thing. I share this information that they like to be at high altitudes and we should look for a cavern high up in the mountain, so we need to climb. Is that why high so, up is called high up? They, because oh, they like to be high. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it's fine. I uh, get up there. As you kind of stand up the and like mm. give off this information check to see if you know what, what the animal is. Well no not that. Um I want oh, to know if if you talk to a wolf telepathically, will it go away? How do you know it's a wolf? I don't, but I heard howling, so I'm just gonna say like, oh yeah. well, if I, I guess... say something in its <laughs> mind, will it be scared and go away? Well, so first off, you would need to see it in order to do your ability. Uh, second off, I won't, I won't have you roll anything because no one would know that. Okay. <laughs> like, there's no book that says, hey, if you, use, if you have psychic powers, you can, you know, tell p- animals to go away by speaking to them. There's, there's no book on that. <laughs> Tally, you see V, like, jump and, like, act like a monkey, and you're like, oh, this is going to be easy. <laughs> and you jump up and grab the first rock. And immediately the rock breaks under your weight and you fall to the ground. You don't take any damage, but because you're on the base, but like I mean, immediately just fall on my you butt. just fall. Yeah. I, I just fall on my butt and I just look up and I have like the biggest pout. <laughs> <laughs> so could I like tie it around my waist and tie it around somebody else who is not at great at climbing? You can. I will say you have disadvantage though, because you are carrying someone of your like body size. Okay. I give emotional support to Talia. <laughs> wow. Her too? Yep, everyone. This is about altitude. Everyone. Three. Three. Oof. Okay. Eighteen. Eighteen. Uh, me, you are going to take one level of exhaustion. Okay. But what is that again? What uh, dice do I throw? It's a d20 plus tier constitution modifier. Okay. And the... And V, in order to get rid of uh, exhaustion, you have to take a long rest. A twenty plus constitution. My constitution is zero. How do you get that? Up? Yeah, you just roll a d twenty. Man, I don't think I understand how we could possibly fight a dragon while we're also like dying from exhaustion. You guys should also be occasionally looking out uh, for any kind of uh, caverns or uh, structures or something that would look like, you know, a cave. Now that you guys have made it up about, you know, you guys can start climbing for an hour. Um, Didn't one of uh, you uh, recommend resting? What? I mean, there's no point in resting. Mm. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm what were you saying? Please. I'm just going to keep going up. Yeah, well, I'm going to... Here's, here's the thing. I'm going to say that since you guys are fairly well-trained, um, 
physically for, you know, for being witchers, and also you guys literally been climbing for an hour. You guys are about a hundred feet up this mountain for now. Um, Thank you for the measurement, but um, <laughs> what percentage really is that to the peak? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's say you guys are about a tenth of the way there. Oh fuck! Yeah. Climbing a mountain, like feet. Feet. yeah. But if we do, if we, if this happens nine more times, we will die before we reach the top. Yeah. Now remember, like I said, like in order for you guys to, you know, you guys to take a long rest, so. If you feel like you're getting too exhausted, you can try to find some shelter and take a long rest and then continue in the morning or, you know, yeah. like whenever you're you we know, don't have feeling to rested. All day, guys. I actually I, didn't I, know that. I thought that we did have to do it in one day because there was no, no way to survive here for a day. No, 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 no. We did um, we, it late, guys. I'll have rations have and supplies. I um, actually thought that it was too cold to, to rest here. Out of seven. What about you, Tara? Huh? Uh, we're, we're searching this plateau together. Mm. I forget what a plateau is. Hold on. What is a plateau? Uh, it's like a part of, it's a place in the mountain. You can't tell what they are. I don't know I rolled a dirt, a, well, kind of like one above a dirty coin, but okay. You can't truly make out what they are yet, but you can tell there are at least four of these creatures making their way up the mountain. Does not sound good. Do you relay this message to the friends, or do you just hold on to it? <laughs> All right, she keeps All it to right. herself. Oh my fucking god! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, we, we're gonna good. die. All right. Now, <laughs> keeping the information to herself, the uh, rocks you're holding onto, and you fall. All right. Well, bye, Tara. Whee! And since you are also coming with Tara, Tara also falls. You're both gonna take six bludgeoning damage as you fall uh, from the cliff. Tara, did you hear that? Twelve HP now. <laughs> hmm. Sorry, you what did you say? Tara takes six damage. Oh. oh. One. All right. You take another level of exhaustion, V. I hate it here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe we can try to go up one more level and then take a long rest above the clouds. Yep. Okay, that sounds good. Let's do this. That was the last time. I need you to roll a new one, Tara. Again? Yeah. Why yes. Do I, why do I? Because everyone is doing it. You guys are going up the mountain. Every time we uh, reach a new elevation, we're having to do this. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's because constitution is like your. Like imagine if you're climbing a mountain and the air is getting thinner and thinner. Yeah. How are you going to react? Three. She, she needs a. She needs All right. All right. So you're gonna take you're gonna take one level of exhaustion. It's actually pretty nice. There's you no longer have the storms or anything. You can actually see a beautiful blue sky overhead, and you can see the cloud layer below you, almost like a beautiful bed of snow. It's very picturesque. Um, you are now on like a, a small plateau on the mountain, so you do have a good area for you guys to sit down and rest if you want to. Oh, it's sleepy time. Uh, <laughs> it's sleepy time. I don't know if you can see me roll things on my character sheet, but if I do, don't don't look at that. Don't don't worry about it. I'm just checking to see what dice it is. Understood. So unless you're what? rolling for damage, be a d20. Don't, it's going don't to worry about me rolling dice on my character sheet. <laughs> 
do and just to dice see hopper, what dice it is. You're you're rolling the I dice to me. look at like what image it used to roll it for you to know what dice it is. <laughs> yes. I know a lot of things are D20, but I like to, you know, True check. True anime form. I like to check just in case. Alrighty. I know there's some things that are like, it's like a D8 or something. Right, that that's the damage. Okay. So er everything else is usually a D20. And then there's like D4s once in a while. Again, damage. That's for certain weapons. Okay. You, you, usually the, the other dice is like damage and occasionally like an ability thing that helps you. It, It'll tell you specifically, roll this. Yeah. So if I roll anything on my character sheet while you're just doing whatever, it's just me messing around with the dice. We don't, don't see really that. Otherwise. We're not looking at it. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're not omnipresent. What? All right. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't have All used right. that word. Alright. Alright. Um Talia, you are first to act as the wolf. Well, um Okay, I, nice. I also started playing D D with my friends on VR chat too. Oh ah, nice. Yeah, well, there is yeah. there is a world for it. Oh yeah. Uh, There's a world for a lot of things on VR chat. Yeah. Alright. So, so if someone says there's a world. As you guys that. do that, I gotta quickly oh, step yeah, away from this, but I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah. So, ta so after Talia, after she lunges forward and zaps this wolf and gets kind of like, uh, in response, uh, V, uh, you are next up. Arf. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. And I'm sorry. I'm you. In the world for sleeping. Yeah. I'm sorry. Next up is actually the, the other wolf that's outside. That as his blood is pouring out of this wolf's uh, gullet. After you, Tara, it is your turn. Tara! Hmm. Uh, what are what other than the dragon are we fighting? There's a wolf within five feet of you. There's We're fighting wolves. Wolves. Oh, okay. Um, let me see what I have. So, where's my spells at? Hold on. Okay, my spells are right here. Uh, I have prepared. Okay. Uh, I could just do kind of like a level four magic missile. I'm not level four. Uh, you don't have level fours yet. Mm, I don't. Tara, Tara, Tara. It's a, just, when you said leveled up to four. No, no, Tara. What? You listen. The wolf is on the verge of death, meaning it does not have a lot of hit points left. It's within five feet of you. I could just whack it then, I guess. Or do you have any melee spell cantrips or spells? Let me look. Cantrips. Firebolt. Mending That's a range spell. Mind illusion. Okay. Uh, is burning hands close up? Yes, you can do that. Um, however, that would cause the wolf and Glaze to make a dexterity saving throw. Whenever she casts an evocation spell, she can... What, what, where was it? He's asking if it's a passive ability or if it's something she has to spend something for. I think, I think it's a lot of scope spells. Stop it, Trixie. Why are you acting up? Okay, well, I looked it up because this is taking so long. It's just, you can choose a number of people equal to one plus the spell's level, and they automatically succeed on their saving throws, or and they take no damage if they would take half damage on a successful save. I could just do uh, 
level one burning hands. Okay, then you go ahead and do that. I mean, where did it go? Did it jump down the cliff? Uh, yeah, it, it's it jumped down the mountain. Okay, that was still like only one turn ago. So I'd like to run to the the ledge and just look and see if I can see it. Uh, as you run over there, you can see that the wolf um, has descended about forty feet down the cliff. Second one's always a charm. Nineteen. All right, if you throw one dagger at it and it kind of like scares it, and it kind of goes right. and you throw your second one and you catch it in the back of the neck, and and then the wolf just falls off the, the cliff of the mountain. There's only three in total. Okay, I drank one. All right. So there's, that means there's two left. Who's going to drink the uh, cold-resistant potion? Okay, Talia. You, you got the arrows, so you drink it. Okay. I'll drink the cold resistance. Like, are there any other like abilities or anything you need to activate before we run into anything? Yes, I'm also going to drink potion of hill giant strength. Nice. I forgot to give you that. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I was literally waiting until we got to the dragon to drink it. Nice, nicely done. Good choice. What does that boost your strength to? Uh, twenty-one. Nice. Great time. Oh man, he's got yeah. the, he's got the oxymethylone. Yeah. So. <laughs> all right. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. Everyone's doing really bad. You guys all try to walk, and immediately just stuff does not go your way. Like I said, the the crack forms. It, Damn it. It seems like just you're trying to be stealthy, but it looks like it's just not gonna work out. <laughs> we, all right. I literally just throw my hands up in the air and I go. Ugh. Let's go forward. <laughs> you see a man in a black cloak standing before a young white dragon that is unconscious at its feet. The man slowly turns around with his hand raised over the dragon's head. And he says, Ah, so we have company today. Excellent. Perhaps I'll get a chance to try out my new spell then. Oh, then why do you remind me of an Organization 13 member? He lowers his hand. Bad taste. from your eyes. So okay, Psychic you Whispers. Uh, I can choose up to two creatures that I can see, roll one of my psionic energy die, and for a number of hours equal to that number, they can speak telepathically with me and I can speak telepathically with them. As long as we're within a mile of each other, and we don't have to speak a common language to understand each other. Oh. Now, do they? They don't have. Do they have to respond back? Nope. Okay. I'm assuming you want to do it on the dragon and on the person. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead. So I was making three attacks. Yep. Uh, That's a multi attack. Okay. Yeah. So it's going to miss its attack on Glaze. And its last claw attack uh, is going to miss the dog. AC is 18. Yeah, it misses you. Uh, nice. Okay. Yeah, all three attacks miss as you, as both of you expertly kind of block the attack, the claw attacks with your shield, and then dodge, kind of dodge away, dodge out of the bite attack. Um, the dragon just kind of roars in, the, in frustration. The person behind you is a threat. You need to get rid of him before he kills you. Talking about the guy in black. Right. Uh, in your head, all you hear is like maddening rage and roar. It's like a bunch of like raging, uh, yelling and roaring. Okay. Yeah. I'm just saying that oh, the, the one in black is trying to kill you. <laughs> like I just keep yeah. sending these messages to its mind. Hell yeah. Your 16 will miss, unfortunately. As you fire the fireball, it just kind of bounces off its scales. The dragon is Sorry. pretty large, right? It's a large creature, yeah. So it's I, I should be able to throw over no, Zendov, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, then I'm going to throw psychic knives at the dragon. So there's, there's only like three of them in the whole room. But the one you're going to, yeah, you can use it as cover. Okay, that's where I'm going to stop moving. Uh, 
the dragon. Is it my turn now or no? Yes. 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 That's, that's why I said Terra. Yeah. It is your turn. You are twenty feet from the dragon. Glaze and Zendov uh, are in front of you. Inside. Yeah, we're protecting you. It won't be like the end king. Um. Can I magic missile at the dragon? You can. What level would you like yeah. to do? That's the highest level I can do. All right. Good. Go ahead and roll damage. Which be... is... Okay. It should be 44 plus 4, if I remember correctly. But Terra, you need to be looking at this whenever it's not your turn, so that you're prepared whenever it is your turn. Okay. okay. Well, I mean, you can't I'm expect focused. everyone else to be looking at your abilities and tell you how they work. It's called yeah. independence. I know. I'm trying. I mean, I it's am, literally I am trying. You. Okay. <laughs> it's your character sheet that tells you. It's not us telling you. Yeah. Uh, it's literally uh, telling you on your character yeah, sheet. Yeah, I know. Okay. I'm if you, if you. Do you have it pulled up though? Yes, like, I do. Okay. Are you, don't don't be upset. We're trying to help you out. Are you clicked on spells? It won't. Oh, there there it is. There yeah, it is. Should... yeah. Keep that one open okay. for now. It doesn't say one D four plus one. Because it's for each individual missile. Did you read it? And how much HP does this dragon have? You don't know. You don't know you that. Don't know. Uh, you don't know what the HP of the creature is. Is there you a possibility we'll to find out? No. Um, I mean, I still have uh, the two, like in front of me, right? You have two allies in front of you. Yeah, There's only I meant. one enemy. Yeah, you have two allies in front of you. Yeah. They are not. They are not injured at the time. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll stay put. You're gonna stay put? Alright. Yeah. Alright, after you, Terra, it is going to be, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna show you you uh, don't wanna Zendal. back up five feet? <laughs> 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 like, Miha would just basically swap places. Okay. Castling. Yeah, roll D8. Castling maneuver. Pretty much. <laughs> oh, it it literally is castling. This is a chess move. <laughs> All right. He's already so plus seven to his AC. Yeah. I have a 21 AC. Nice. He's going to use his breath weapon. Oh. <laughs> well, um, is it an effect that I can see? Can I see him about to use it? Yes. It, the breath weapon you I can't see. Advantage. You do get an advantage. I hate to do this to you. It's going to take 44 cold damage. Yeah, Wait, no, what? Yeah, no, there's no take, way. Like, that's you're take, that's you're take instant death for a lot of people. Uh, yeah, Terror's dead. You killed her again, dude. Why'd you do this? 44 straight damage from the dragon? I spread. It's a 10d8. Uh, yeah. Damn. Uh, Why Terra, did you do no, that? Sorry. Yeah, no, sorry, Terra, you're dead. 10 D8! Blaze, he knocked out the dragon's tooth! <laughs> and Terra uh, just I, stood I, still I right in front of it. I live, but Terra's dead. There, there's nothing she can do. She's dead. I can't do yeah. like a saving throw oh. or something? No, oh, it's more than double your You math. did! You did the saving throw. It was 11. All you see is yep. me sh put my hand out and I do that motion like I'm turning back time. And then I just call out, Dawn! Only, uh, Talia would well, see this, but basically... No, 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 no. You just, you have to re-roll the saving throw okay. for Constitution. I, I'm trying to save you. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh my god! Yeah, so Talia, Talia, as you reach out and you try to turn back time, save Talia, you see, like, the breath weapon kind of go over her, and then like it slowly 
comes back and it's like going back into the dragon's mouth and then the dragon redoes it again and it just it doesn't work. Talia still dies. She just gets killed a second time like right away. <laughs> you keep saying Talia. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm look. It's there's a lot of names that sound yeah, well. I don't know what's that person. All right, so what? Tara, uh, you die and your corpse is completely frozen. Yep. You are now a block of ice. I am so sorry. Uh, that this happened to you again, like almost immediately. <laughs> but, Why are you uh, doing this to me? <laughs> I don't not think personal, he's meeting it intentionally. This is a very, this is a very, uh, it's a very hard game. Uh, you run a very hard game. Every other game I've seen, it's actually pretty lax. You run fucking. I told, easy. I told you guys in the beginning, and from the beginning, this was supposed to be way game. harder. He said Witcher. He literally said at the beginning of the campaign, Witcher is going to be a tough campaign. We swear yeah. he's a lot nicer than other games. Yeah, I, I promise I'm not as cruel. He's always going one. easy on us. Uh, yeah. I know. Sometimes I, I am pretty mad that I go that easy. But uh, anyway, let's get back to the battle. All right. So he does the breast, take damage. After that, Talia, you're up. All right. Just watch your I kinda new acquaintance like look over turn to a block of ice. I'm kind of looking upset with myself that I wasn't able to save her. It, you're at the edge of the cabin right now. You're like at the entrance where you guys entered. Mm-hmm. Yep. I don't blame you, Talia. I hope you get out of here alive. <laughs> oh, I, if I have to, guys, I'm using that teleport teleportation potion to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. I am literally the only wizard. Yeah. Yeah, well, I don't like get a slap on the wrist. You, you, Zinda, the new V might be dead. I yeah. think that character was probably on yeah, loan right. to us, like Glaze. Like, I, I don't think we knew her. She shoot out another uh, magic missile at this uh, dragon. Again, the darts just kind of weave around, like, into the air, and then just all compile onto the dragon, um, leaving a massive explosion from the different darts. The dragon is looking bloodied at this time. Wow. Uh, During yeah. this whole time, I want to be talking to that guy who vanished that I have the telepathic yeah. link yeah, with. Yeah, I'm sorry. I saw your message. I meant to say something, but That's okay. I was trying to also keep the combat going. All right, so you try. what do you try to say to him, by the way? So first I'm like, where'd you go? Come back. Yeah, you try to say that, uh, but you don't hear any reply. Okay, I'm going to... Tell him that uh, the dragon froze this girl. Uh, do you want her frozen corpse? No reply. I'll give you one more uh, question, and then we need to go to combat. Uh, I'm going to call him some racial slurs and tell him to come fight me. <laughs> <laughs> I just fill the air with spinning daggers within a five-foot cube, and it just attacks you. It's instant damage. Uh, creature takes 44 slashing damage when it enters the spell's area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there. Okay, uh, and what's the range that you can cast it? 60 feet, so I moved up 15, so I was at 75, so I'm up 15 yeah, feet. Yeah, up 15. Okay, and so you cast it on him, so there's not a cloud of daggers around this area. When I see all these yeah. knives just appear in the air floating around, I'm like, that's so cool. <laughs> wow. Yeah, these spectral daggers just like start floating in the air and they start uh, flying and hitting this dragon. All the ghost knives are just so cool to me. Okay, I'm going to keep them. talking yeah. telepathically to that oh, man, man, you know, just telling him I'm going to put my knife in his urethra. And... <laughs> tell the dragon the same thing. You say that to the guy, he finally speaks back and says, You're such an annoyance. <laughs> the dragon roars in outrage at you laughing at him. 
I know, I know you're talking to the guy, but like, you're yeah, yeah, me you're doing to both of them. So he's like, ah, I hate you. <laughs> Joker mode. Okay, I'll make my attacks at the dragon. So whenever you uh, strike him with this psychic dagger, you hear this twinge of a voice like past the roar that says, "Free me." And that's all you hear from the dragon. And then it goes back to roaring. It's a breed. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad Draco's not here as a player. No, I'm not a furry. That's Draco. <laughs> no, 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 no. Even no that's not a furry. That's turned, a alien. Hey, even if the dragon turned into a hot girl. Okay, no, then, then it's okay. That's what? Okay. See, V's okay with trans. Oh no! <laughs> trans race. <laughs> I'm okay with transracial. Yeah, you rush forward, you stab him in the heart, and just so you like the dragon kind of like, like lunge forward, like gives off another roar before his eyes start to fade and go back to their normal color and hue. He starts to slump forward. And you kind of reach quickly, uh, pull your blade back out, and step back. And just as you do, the dragon falls forward, and all the uh, spectral daggers start falling and slashing at him. Nice. V, in your head, you hear the man talking again. Well done. You throw the dragon. Not many can do that. But let's see how you deal with his... Second phase. What? Oh no! And okay. Before you no. guys, oh, yeah. the dragon, no, this, a this swirling wind of bro. cold Man. energy swirls around the dragon, and his eyes open up uh, again, a cool, glowing blue. And the dragon rises up once more, frost forming along his wings Same and that. mouth, creating these ice spikes. Where do you get this new scar from the dragon? Oh, uh, right. Uh, what was it? A claw attack? Yeah, it was a claw attack. Yeah, right across, like, like right across my uh, cheek. Ah, oh, all right, all right. He's a nice scar across across his cheek. <laughs> now you got, now you got plenty of scars, man. You're like, no. you're like, see this scar? You pull on your shirt. See this scar? Griffin attack. See the scar on my face? Dragon attack. Dragon attack. I'm just a badass. <laughs> yeah, fucking, I'm Geralt. What you mean? <laughs> you take 65 damage. 865? Hold on. I might actually be dead. Yeah. Uh, let me see that. Oh, yeah. no way. I'm going to use uh, reaction if, he, if he is dead. You save yourself from one hit point, you lucky bastard. <laughs> I don't know what you guys Good. talking about. I was talking to Zendok, way, dude. You're, you're screwed. You're screwed either way. <laughs> no, I'm way, just knocked out. I thought you're that. Not gonna, okay. Uh, Zendok, are you still up? Yeah, of course I'm still up. I, I told him, <laughs> don't judge me. You don't know me. You don't know me? <laughs> hey. uh, yeah. Now you use your ability? Yeah. All right. Glaze, it is your turn. What do you do? You've just been brought back to life. Oh, uh, okay. I stand up using five feet of movement because of athletic. All right. My action to drink my other potion of greater healing. No, no. He gave you yours. You don't have any more. Oh, shit. Fuck. Yeah, you think I'm going to give you mine? <laughs> <laughs> We already know what happened last time you did that. Savage. <laughs> yeah, savage. Oh, shit. I'm going to have to take the dodge because that's still flying. Well, don't forget you had the arrow of the dragon. Yeah, you're the only one with the slaying arrows. That would be really good now. Yeah, yeah. I'll use them for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, I'm so pissed off, guys. Shut 23 up. nat. Amazing. With your bow? Yes, with, with the slaying arrow. Wow. Perfect. <laughs> wow. 
Oh uh, yeah, it's the same game where the, where the yeah. dragon has a second phase and everyone's dying all around us. Oh, stop. I love it. Oh, you, you can I'm keep not playing, playing if you want. This is my favorite campaign. Is Zindov okay? He's he's yeah. alive. You look over and you see both of them. I'm alive. Face. Okay, good. Okay. Shut the fuck up, Blaze. All right. I'm attacking. <laughs> he banned any classes. That's bullshit. That's stupid. Ban the cool stuff. <laughs> There's literally no creature that resists it or is immune to it. Yeah, that's why it's cool. It still works as long as they're within a mile, but it doesn't say that I'm aware if I lose the connection. I'm hoping to throw them off mentally by just constantly talking <laughs> shit like I'm on Xbox Live. Oh no. He looks over no. to you and Talia. No. The... Wait, what? To... <laughs> Why is she near me? <laughs> she I was you. She ran to you. I even said she slides next to you. You even said hi to me. You were like you were like hi. Don't don't be surprised. You that was instinctive. Like, oh, <laughs> that, that was just reflex. He flies about twenty feet, stops, raises an arm in the air, and three ice spears form in the air, and he's Whoa. going to throw them. He's going to throw two of them at Talia, and the last one's going to throw at you. V. No, he's flying over you, so the half cover wouldn't work in this instance. It doesn't work? I thought it was a pillar to the to the ceiling. Yeah, so it's, it's not like that, that tall, is what you're saying. No, no, it's like... Okay, so we feet. don't have cover if he's in the air. Yeah. Well, fuck, okay. Talia, both are gonna hit, and one of them is a crit. Oh my god! Mm. No! And, and V... Like, well, the last one misses you. My Best. God, use your time control to save yourself. I don't have Man. it. Okay, I'll use my action to feed Talia a healing potion. Okay. We were nice. just impaled by icicles, but yeah, you're good. Right. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to use my bonus action to dash just across the room to another thing of cover. And he gives off a uh, ginormous roar before uh, using a multi-attack against you. Ah! Uh, your AC is okay, 18, right. right? Yeah. Alright, you use your reaction. Try to hit it. Natural 20 damage. Yeah, by the way, dodge, remember? Dodge action? Yeah. Oh, That was... Yeah, so he has things. disadvantage. Oh, he got two? Yeah. Oh. This is awesome. <laughs> Say that, V, because you're always running away. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to reduce it down by 11. Wow. Uh, so he takes 15. Five HP left? All right, you hey, he's good. son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you only need uh, one. <laughs> Can I drop my shield and draw my other sword? Yeah, sure. Yes. 20, 23. You are terrified of this creature now. He's got a six. <laughs> you knock him prone, and then you get terrified. <laughs> 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 and you run away. <laughs> Ten. Ten damage? All right. Guys, he is so close. It is the dragon's turn now. He uses his movement to get back up. And he's going to attack Glaze. Tracy again? Uh, it's 14. You got this. Uh, he might knock you out with this. There's a high chance he's going to knock me out, so... Yeah. All right, he so might only do one 10, damage. You take 10 piercing damage. Oh, I'm knocked out. So the dragon, like, reaches down, bites you, kind of flings you left and right in the air before he just kind of tosses you to the side. And then he sets his eyes on Zenda, who is now cowering in fear. And he rushes towards 
Zendov. He's got the Zendov. All right, first attack misses. Is he sweet? Damn right it does. <laughs> hey, you're scared. Don't speak with such confidence. <laughs> hey, you give me scared to show how confidence. <laughs> <laughs> you dodged right away the first one. The second attack does hit you, though, with a 19. You're going to take... Okay. I can, I can take it. 14 slashing damage. Yeah, see, I told you I could take it. Oh my All god. Alright, right, you're still up. Well, since I can't reach them, like, with my movement without dashing, I am just going to make another ranged attack. At least it wasn't a one, so I don't hit Zendog. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. <laughs> 20! Alright, that'll hit. Roll damage. Can you guys sneak attack? Nope. Yes! Zendog. Heavy killed it. Seven and six. All right. The dragon is on death's door, guys. You could attack with disadvantage, or you can run away. What do you do? Oh, fuck that. I'm not running away. No? I'd rather attack with disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Famous yes! Words. All right, that hits. Wow. Roll, roll, attack. roll damage for the <laughs> rapier. Zendov. Though you are terrified to the bone, you stand your ground as the dragon looms in front of you, breathing heavily and looking ready to collapse. You let out a roar as you jump into the air and slam your rapier into the head of this dragon, bringing him to the ground. He is now dead. Oh, yeah. All right, time for phase three. <laughs> <laughs> the dragon kind of like sputters a little bit before going limp at your feet. The you no longer hear the voice at all. <laughs> all right, we brought him peace. After you know cutting through the uh, the dragon's hide and everything, and taking the, the organs you need, each of you slam your potion, and you return back to Kermoran. And that's where we're going to end tonight's session and the Witcher campaign. I hope we you did it! Uh, we yeah. win! <laughs> Damn. That was we so cool. That dragon. <laughs> so we go back to Kara Morhen, and I act like I've never even heard of Terra, that Icicle was not our responsibility. <laughs> I'm an innocent 12-year-old in this game. No, you're not. You're not, you're not, you're not. at all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Might I remind you, session one, where you use the body shield of a child. Yeah, he was already going to die anyway. You know, I had to survive. See, that was when V first learned the value of cover. <laughs> he always uses cover now. <laughs> Since that moment when a wounded child was right in front of him and he had to use him as a shield against a giant rat. No, I still had 11 hit points. That's awesome. And it kept going. <laughs> Dude, you know how many HP I have? How much? 31. <laughs> Maximum. Yeah, because you get the, the, the trick of running away from everything. Yeah, you should learn that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and send crypto tips to lollyfucker9000.wallet. Gamers rise up.